Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Adam Walksby here. So, today, we're going to talk about something a bit positive, because I know yesterday I started off January with a little bit of a cynical note, talking about how the meat and dairy industry is probably feeling a little bit left out and a little bit threatened at the fact that plant-based nutrition and plant-based uh, lifestyles are growing and growing and growing to such a degree where it's now impacting their business model and we can't have that. But today, positive stuff for Veganuary because I'm here to talk about the new products from Huel. Now, a bit of history. Huel is a meal, a complete nutritional meal in a bag. Uh, some people think of it as a meal replacement, but that's not entirely true because you're not actually replacing a meal, you are actually getting a full meal. These contain everything you need for a human to survive, all 26 essential nutrients and minerals. And it stands for human fuel. And when Huel started out, it started out as producing these sort of cold porridge style powders which you would mix up with water or if you're feeling really adventurous you might add a bit of uh, plant-based milk or some fruit in there. And I think by their own admission it was very much nutrition first, taste second. You could have original flavour or, whoa steady on guys, vanilla. And you know obviously as time progressed there was more and more flavours. Um, you could get chocolate and coffee and then there was Huel Black which came out recently which is something I've used now for a little while and that is a, a sort of lower carb higher protein version of the sort of cold shakes and that suits my lifestyle and the reason why I use it is two reasons firstly since becoming plant-based I've become obsessed with the amount of minerals and nutrients that I just simply wasn't getting when I was eating a vegetarian and even a plant, you know, even a, a meat-based diet. When my eyes became open to the fact that, blimey, actually, there's so much stuff that a human needs to not only survive, but to thrive, I'm missing out on so much by, you know, just eating cheese, toasties, or whatever, you know, uh, margarita pizzas. And that obsession led me to believe that I need to sort of, you know, reach my nutritional goals each day. And that becomes a real chore to have to go out and source like, oh, quick, I need a Brazil nut for my selenium. I need uh, to grab a broccoli for this and, you know, vitamin C from that. And while it's, you know, a necessity, you've got to do it. This is something, you know, this is the most, the most fundamental choice that you make as to what you put in your body. You've got to go out and do that. But also, I'm a busy guy, I like to think. And I don't really want to be spending time going out and sourcing ingredients so much, or chopping them up, or cooking. So I go for the easy option. And the easy option is to know that if I have Huel every day, then I am guaranteed to reach my nutritional targets at a baseline. Anything else I have on top of that, be it a protein shake, be it a cheeky banana here and there, then that's all extra. So... I was prepared to do that. I was prepared to do that. As you'll say, it is nutrition first, taste second. But wait, what's this cheeky little thing? Huel comes out and releases a hot and savoury. So, you know, the only way you could get Huel in the hot form was to take the powder, I don't know, and then bake it or make it into cookies or something and put it into a cake. Now, they've come out not only, no, not with a sort of cold porridge consistency meal, they come out with a kind of like a risotto. Let me introduce you to the fellas. So, Huel Hot and Savoury basically contains, as its base, grains. So, you may be thinking, hang on, this sounds suspiciously like a product which you add hot water to in a noodly form, and in a few minutes you'll get a meal. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. The difference being is that those products often have, if you look at the back of them, a heck of a lot of salt in them. Whereas these, our Huel friends, are packed full. I don't know if you can see that. Look at all those 
vitamins and minerals and nutrients that they have on one serving. Absolutely astounding. So in a sense, the secret sauce is their micronutrient blend. So they blend up all of these micronutrients and then they add the fun stuff, the flavours, the textures. And the first flavours that they released was... The tomato and herb flavour, which is tomato and herby. But the really exciting one, which I just couldn't get enough of, this is the Thai green curry flavour. Now, I have a hot water boiler over there. And I have six cups. That's right. We're going to go through each one of them. Two of these I know very well. And four of them I've never seen before. So, but in the interest of fairness and completion, I'm going to go through all of them. So, the first thing you want to do when you get your huel is to shake it up. Because unlike your conventional cold counterpart, this has got a lot of different uh, size of grains and different things in there that you're going to want to shake up to properly get a good mix. And the first thing you notice when you open up the... Thai curry one is how sort of powerful that smell comes through. You know, you've got your flavors like your coriander, your chili, your ginger, your cumin. Lemongrass is really prominent. And just look at that. Look at that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm put one spoon in there. Go over, get some hot water, and talk to you a little bit more about the first flavour of fuel we're going to try. Let's do this. Now, when you first order your first lot of fuel, what you'll get is a nifty t-shirt which would have been a good idea to wear, wouldn't it? But I just couldn't resist these threads. And you also get a pot. Uh, you add your, you scoop your fuel into your pot, you add your boiling water, stir it up, leave it for about five minutes, you cover it up, and then you've got a deliciously hot, nutritionally complete meal. So, what I'm gonna do now while that's boiling is have a look at the second flavor. Let's get a couple of flavors on the go, shall we? So, the second flavour that I want to introduce you to is the tomato and herb. Again, shake it up. I've shook these up a bit prior. Let's check on my water. Oh. No cheating, no cheating. Cover that up, open up our next flavour. You're going to want to flick it a little bit to make sure that none of the grains are kept in the top so you don't end up with loads of stuff all over your floor. Rip it off. <clears throat> Again, the instant hit of flavour or the smell is that real deep rich tomato. Mm, check out that, that's a real mixture of textures coming at you there. So again, what you want to do is scoop it out. Add your boiling water. What next? Oh. 
sweet and sour. I was looking forward to this one. Okay, so when I went onto the website to actually look at renewing a subscription to Huel and getting some new stuff, I was really surprised to learn that they not only come out with one new flavour, oh no, thank you Veganuary, I'm sure it's not just Veganuary, but they come out with four new flavours and one of the ones I was most excited to try out was the sweet and sour. Um, having a look at the ingredients to see what is the most prominent uh, source of some of this seasoning. It's tomato powder, coconut sugar. If you don't know coconut sugar, try some in your coffee, you'll love it. Gives it a real uh, beautiful, rich flavour, but without those nasty sort of spikes in, uh, uh, you know, insulin spikes that you sometimes get. Right, <clears throat> this is completely new for me, so let's have a look. I've never been so excited to receive a food product before. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's some intense colours right there. Right. Another cup. I'm just going to mix this up. Okay, so that's one spoon. I think if I do about two spoons, then that will give us a a good idea of the kind of profile and flavours that we're dealing with. Right, let's add some hot water. Now, one of the things I've noticed about Huel Hot and Savoury, especially um, like the tomato flavour, is that while some products you can get are perhaps overly sweet or um, have that kind of artificial sense to it, you've really got the feeling when you're eating Huel Hot and Savoury. What you're dealing with is real flavours, a real intense savouriness. And obviously, depending on how much water you put in these things, you're going to have more of a, a thicker consistency or a more, or more say, soup-like consistency. So let me just release some of that. And if you are interested in trying out your very own subscription or ordering fuel for the first time, then you can head over to adamroxby.uk slash fuel. All right, it's time to try. Fuel number one. And if you remember, that was the Thai curry. Now I've made mine a little bit uh, liquid in consistency on this first one. And as you can see, the grains that you're getting and That is good. The thing I like about the 
I've got that down. The thing I like about this one is it's spicy, but not overly spicy. It's not going to blow your head off. You've got that nice sort of underlying profile of heat. Really delicious. Next one. This is the tomato and herb. Now, when I first saw tomato and herb, I thought, oh, that's a bit boring. To be honest, I'm not really a big tomato fan. But look how intense and rich that looks. The thing I love about this one is that the tomato is both deep and intensely flavoursome, but also with an underlying sweetness to it. And you've got these, if I try and fish one out, these nice chunky bits of greens in there, which gives it a bit of a nice uh, texture. So you're going along. I could finish that easily. I find the um, Thai curry one very, very Moorish. Right, enough of that. Halfway through, guys. Oh, ho. I've got to say that one last. Let's have a look at this one. So, we have here another flavour that I was quite excited to look at. It is Mexican chilli. Now, I believe this is not the hottest one in the range. There is a hotter fuel to come. Let me get a cut. Right. When I tear it open, what do I get bombarded with first off? Oh, mate. That's a... Uh, that's chilli. And that's looking a bit dark and sinister there. Man, this is going to be... This is going to be an interesting experience, I think, for this one. Okay, let's close that one down. Get some water. Now in this one you've got your bell peppers and your chilies and your cornstarch and tomatoes, onions, but we'll get into that. Now the base of the Huel and Hot and Savory range is Flaxseed, brown rice, quinoa, pea protein, and in this one in particular, dried black beans for that Mexican style. Right, while that's doing its thing, let's have a look at the sweet and sour one again. So, now the thing I like about this kind of thing is that you can enjoy the flavours and intensity of flavour that you want while still safe in the knowledge that you're not sacrificing your nutritional goals you can still achieve your nutritional aims now I've made this one a bit thick but oh man that is delicious have I found a new favourite? Now the thing about this one is that you've got that sort of... You feel like you're not getting horrific, gloopy, fructose, glucose fructose syrup, MSG, sweet and sour. You're getting something 
delicate, intense. That pineapple's in there. Mm. And those grains are really Mm. That is a strong contender for my new favourite flavour. But we can't call the race just yet. <clears throat> we've got to count all the fuel. And we've got two flavours left. We do indeed. And next up we have Madras. Now, there was somewhat of a little warning on the website when I ordered this one, which was, this is hotter than the Thai curry one. Which already, I think, was probably like, you know, I can handle a bit of hot food, but the Thai curry one was just that nice underlying essence of heat. This one feels like it might be very much at the forefront. But we shall see. And while I'm at it, I do have to say, I love the design and the packaging. And we'll talk about packaging in a sec. The pictures are beautiful and it's really bold identity of the company. Really nice. Oh, yeah, that's a. Uh, smells like a curry. See why you need to shake it up, can't you? Because you really want to get that mixture of everything in there. And also to be sure that you're getting the adequate amount that you need for your, for your servings. Like I say, you can use the scoop that you get with your first order, or just get a set of kitchen scales. Grab a sip, refresh the palate. Sip of black tea. Nice and lukewarm. Now, about the packaging. There's another company that I'm very fond of called Vivo Life and they supply all of my protein powders and other vitamins and things that I use to supplement my exercise and daily living. And they very proudly, in my opinion, and rightly so, came out last year with compostable packaging, which is a really great achievement. This is packaging which once you finish with, you can just shred it up chuck it into your home composter and it starts to break down and provide nutrients back into the to the soil back into the environment and i asked huel you know i love you huel i love you i really do but why don't you do the same thing and the answer they came up with was well in order to <clears throat> ensure that these have a shelf life of a year which is quite impressive they've got to have packaging which is not recyclable and what they said was that if you were to go out and buy all the ingredients needed to make this meal, you'd obviously be getting sort of so many you know different ingredients, as you can see, go into this, that the amount of packaging and effort and energy required to accumulate all of those and to combine them all into the same product would be far more detrimental to the environment than to just simply get this. But it is a... It is a bit annoying, but I, I trust them. I believe them when they say that. And so I am willing to go with them on the journey because I think that they are committed to their environmental uh, responsibilities. And like I say, adamroxby.uk slash Huel if you want to try out this yourself. Speaking of trying out, let's have a look at the Mexican one. When I was growing up, I wasn't really always a, fla a fan of the uh, Mexican flavour. You know, my mum really liked refried beans, and that was always a, 
a strange experience having that on tacos, but there we go. You can see those black beans in there. Oh, oh, mate, that flavour is delicious. Again, you've got the warmth, you've got the chilli, you've got the you've got the strength of the spicy, but it's not it's not the dominant overriding flavour. That's a really clever blend to have it where you can actually taste the other ingredients. Sometimes when you have hot food, it's just hot for hot sake. And you think, well, why did you bother putting all the other ingredients in there? Because all I can taste is the pain in my mouth. But just look at that. Look at that sort of collection of flavour. Could this be another front runner for the favourite? This is the thing, right? I'm going to talk to you a little bit about choice anxiety after I prepared this last one. So, one more mouthful. Don't judge me. Right. Last one. Korma. Can you believe it? Shake that up. Now, as a vegan, I haven't had korma for a while because traditionally, kormas are made with cream. They are very creamy, and the way they've got around the creaminess here is coconut milk powder. Makes sense, doesn't it? So, I know I could have done this at home, but I used to love kormas, chicken korma, back in the day when I was a meat eater. But yeah, since becoming a vegan, I just hadn't really thought that I could make it myself and kind of neglected that side of things. Right, let me just have one last spoon of this to clean the spoon. Before shaking this up. Oh, yes. Let's get a couple of spoons in there. So we've got, I'm going to say two and a bit spoons. We'll try two and a bit spoons. Okay. Seal that up. Add the water. So, you can see how this can be such a great thing if you're a busy guy working, you know, like me for example, if I'm a nurse, I'm going to work and you know I don't really want to eat unhealthily, I want to still be a healthy eater but you know, I need to eat. This way, all I need is to have prepared my shaker with the powder that I want, add my boiling water, and I'm, and I'm happy. But when I first started being a vegan, even when I first started becoming a vegetarian, you know, nearly a decade ago, well, actually, over a decade ago now, um, it was easy because you'd go into a restaurant and all you could see was like uh, all the other options, and then there was just a tiny sliver of maybe two options for a vegetarian. You think, oh, there you go, I'm done, I've chosen now, easy. But nowadays, you've got so much delicious, flavoursome choice as a vegan. It's like, oh man, I'm actually having to really agonise over these choices that I've got to make about what I want to eat because there's so many. Mm. So many delicious flavours to choose from. Speaking of which, I'm a little bit anxious about this madras. I won't lie. Let's cover over my korma, which might rescue my palate after I've obliterated it with this intensity. But it's a good thing, obviously. I'm being a bit flippant. It's a good thing that now there's so many delicious flavours and so many delicious choices that there really isn't any excuses anymore not to try it out. At least try it out. And then once you decide that it's for you, you know, go for it. Um, if you look on the website, adamroxby.uk slash Huel, you get your £10 off your first order, but you also get to see 
how it works out for you per meal. And it's about sort of one pound, I think one pound 30-ish or one pound 60-ish, depending on what you get per meal. And some people might think, oh, that's, that does sound a little bit expensive. But the great fitness advocate Jack LaLanne once said, if you haven't got, you know, the time or the energy or the money to dedicate to the most important person in your life, and that's you, then what are you doing? What, you know, why are you spending more time and effort worrying about, you know, what clothes you wear or what makeup you've got? What you should be worried about is the actual stuff that you put into your body, the stuff that you consume, the stuff that powers you, the stuff that drives you. It does sound like I am procrastinating because I... <laughs> Hmm. Okay, let's do it. I'll be honest. It is hotter, but it's not. I, just, I don't know, it seems like magic. It's not. It's just to the level where I can handle it. Oh, that's delicious. What else have they put in that? Let me find that. Where are you hiding, my dress? Obviously, a whole host of ground spices, cumin, chilli, paprika, coriander, cinnamon, ginger. Aha, sweet potato. There we go. We've got a bit of sweet potato in there. That's what I was getting. Delicious. Utterly delicious. Bit of coconut sugar in there for the for the sweetness, just to enhance those flavours. I am going to sound like a complete fanboy by the end of this video, because I don't know how they've done it. I take my, I doff my cap to the people at Huel who have created nutritionally complete food, but. Finally getting the, the balance right, in my opinion. The cold huel was nice, but when you were eating it, you did feel like you were... You did feel like you were being overly virtuous. Like, I am doing this for my health in spite of the flavour, at times. It co could have been a bit of a chore, especially if you were trying to do it hardcore, doing it you know, multiple times a day. But here, you feel like... I can eat the food. I would be quite happy. I am being completely honest. You know, Spock's honour. I could eat a collection of these foods, these six flavours, every day. Possibly for the rest of my life. And be a happy man. If it meant that I knew that I was getting what I needed to survive and thrive. And I, I could say that with complete honesty. Having said that, I've yet to try the last flavour, so maybe it could all go downhill from here, who knows. I find it unlikely, but in the, uh, in the pursuit of honesty, let's try it. So, again, the thing about Korma is it's by design not meant to be a, a sort of strong powerhouse of flavour, it's overriding the overriding memory that I have of it is just creaminess. I can see my rice in there, obviously my flax seeds, a few other things in there. I'm getting subtle, a subtle sweetness from the coconut milk. So, look at that, isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that what you want? Each of these cups contains a whole rainbow of flavours and colours. And to then hear People say like, oh, vegans, what, what do you eat? What's the, what do you think? Mm. I think I've just got a big, big raisin or something, a big um, sultan or something. Because that is... There we go. Yep, sultanas. Desiccated coconut. Again, with the base of your grains, brown rice, quinoa, pea protein, flax seeds. And then they've enhanced it with all the korma flavour. 
So I'm going to end this video pretty soon because I am going to decimate the amount, you know, the cups that I have left here. That is just delicious. So, I want to say thank you very much, Heal, for existing and creating such a delicious range of food that is friendly to planet, friendly to people, friendly to animals, and provides me with all my nutritional needs. We've got Madras, is spicy, no lie, spicy, but not too spicy, delicious. If you want to treat your friends, try that. You've got Korma, a flavour that I used to love and I've missed, and now I can get it back thanks to Huel Hot and Savoury. Very coconut flavoured, delicious though. Mexican chilli, I was a bit unsure, but those black beans, they sold it for me. And that Tex-Mex style, oh. again, great for a cold day like today, just warms you up. Sweet and sour, you can enjoy the flavour of sweet and sour without feeling like you're being pumped full of MSG and other weird uh, refined sugars, you can cut it back to the flavours that you actually want to get from sweet and sour, which is that, look at that, little hint of chilli and your pineapple there. What a winner. The OGs, the originals, Thai green curry and your tomato and herb. Tomato and herb, if you want that, non-complicated, non-fussy, basic flavour, but done right. Really, really umami, really, really uh, savoury flavour. Deep, not sort of sweet ketchup, but real deep, intense, like you've just picked it straight from the vine, tomato flavour. And Thai green curry, who doesn't love Thai green curry? If I see a Thai green curry on a menu, I'm going for it, because I just love that flavour. You've got your, you've got your coriander, your chilli, your cumin, your ginger, and of course your lemongrass flavouring. It's just absolutely delicious and I think, you know, if you try a subscription or just try off a one-off order, I think you won't be disappointed, but let me know what you think. Head over to adamroxby.uk slash Huel for £10 off your first order. And like I say, you can get your t-shirt, you can get your, your cup, and you can get yourself on the path to a healthier and more nutritionally complete 2021. You know, we've been hearing so much about how in times like this, when we are all at risk, you know, what can you do to help? Well, look after yourself, protect yourself. And one of the ways you can do that is by not pumping your body full of rubbish. Fill it with some of the good stuff. And that's you all. Anyway, thank you very much. Be sure to check out my website, comment if you like, and I will speak to you as always really soon. Bye now.